Honor, Huawei's smartphone e-brand for digital natives, today launched its much-anticipated smartphone Honor 6X. This is presenting you the in-depth camera review of Honor 6X with some camera samples. So, without wasting any time, let's jump into the video. Honor 6X feature a dual lens rear camera. The main 12 megapixel camera is responsible for the composition of the image, while the 2 megapixel camera helps to get depth of the field information, resulting in beautiful shots. This dual camera is combined with a single tone flash, not so powerful but decent enough to give you good photos. The thing that I didn't like about this phone is the camera bump, which is around 2 to 3 mm above the surface. Due to this bump, the lens is subjected to scratches. But after using it for 15 to 16 days, I realized that it didn't get even a single scratch. So it must be protected with some good kind of glass. Now let's jump into the camera UI. The front of the UI is pretty simple. When you swipe right, you have some capture modes. On the main screen, you can just toggle between the flash. You can use no flash, automatic flash or a torch mode in which your flash will be always on. When you will touch an object to focus, you will see a circle around it and along that you will have a meter through which you can change the exposure. Now let's jump into the depth sensing mode. Only in this mode, the two cameras are activated. When you will touch an object, it will show a circle with an aperture in it. With the meter beside it, you can change this aperture from f by 0.95 to f by 16, which is a decent range. And through this, you can blur the background and make your object pop out in the pics. This mode works better when the object is nearer to your phone, in the range of around 2 to 3 meters from your phone. Although you will find some glitches when you will compare this to a professional DSLR, but this is acceptable when you pay only 13,000 for this. You can also change the focus in the aperture after you have clicked the photo. Just go into the gallery and tap the below button and then just be a circle will again appear on the screen and then touch the object you want to focus. And then again, change the meter to change the aperture and give the more blurry background. You can add some filters in it. The camera UI is bundled with a lots of features that you will find in third party apps. So here you don't need to download apps like Pixelr, Pixart or Camera360. This phone also has some live filter modes which you can use while capturing the photos like grayscale, blue, sepia and many more. In the video mode, you will find some differences from the camera mode but generally this happens in every smartphone. The video quality is also very good as compared to the smartphones in this range. All this, the same features are also applicable in this video mode. Now this is the sample of a photo that I have captured in depth sensing mode. Hit that thumbs up if you like the blur background. This is also a sample I have captured. You can see the details are quite nice. Although this tree was quite far away from the phone around 5 to 6 meter. This was a flower which was a very less distance from the phone and hence you can see the details are nice. This was also a shot from Honor 6X. You can see the whole focus was shifted on this nearest brick. And in this, the fo I shifted the focus on the below wall. If you like these samples, then hit that red subscribe button. Now let's see the pro photo mode. In this mode, you can manually change the every single setting of the smartphone of the camera. You can change the ISO, you can change the shutter speed, you can change the exposure. I think the professional photographer will understand this more than normal people who just pick out the phone and capture the photos like me. You can change the exposure from the slider. You can change the focusing mode from continuous to static to touch. You can change it to manual and then set the focus by yourself from infinity to zero. You can change the white balancing mode. You can mm, Take it to the warmer side or take it to the cooler side. I think the warmer looks more cool here. 
now we have a beauty mode in the rear camera interesting huh now we have a pro video mode here also all the same settings are there are here also the manual focus the manual iso settings manual exposure settings yeah, this and the autofocus mode beauty video mode also now this is the hdr mode i'm capturing the pic in hdr mode you can see the details are quite nice every single leaf is visible and it gives detail it gives good detail now let's see this night shot i have a lot of sample which i will show in the last at the end of this video so watch this video till the end and this night shot actually increase the shut decrease the shutter speed and increase the exposure so you need to hold the camera still for for around 10 to 12 seconds which depends on the light around your surrounding which is a difficult thing like you can see i just intentionally disturb the phone and you can see the picture has been completely destroyed this is the panorama mode you can use this mode to capture a, a big view you can see the stitching is nice you will not find the point at which the joint has happened this is the good food mode it is for those people who are food genic will have to capture foods and, and this is light painting mode you can use probably this is not the correct time it increases the exposure to the maximum and allow the light to fall on the sensor for a big duration of time you can use a flashlight or an LED light to draw in air and the caps phone will capture the drawing you are making this is the time-lapse mode it decreases the frame rate nothing interesting in it now this is the slow-mo mode this camera records at 720p at 60 fps so let's check it out mm -hmm. i will increase this meter to slow it, the more part of this video and yes looks cool now we have the scanner mode the watermark mode and this audio node mode audio note in this mode you can attach a 10 seconds audio with the pick that you are clicking so you can use your audio note as a memory to remember where did you clip this pick and what was that occasion the audio note will be tagged with this with the uh, pick you can see it is written after you take the photo you can add a 10 seconds audio clip with it so this was all about the caption modes available here in this phone 
When you swipe left, you have some options like changing the resolution, GPS tagging, grid. This is the spiral thing, which is used to click more accurate shots. You can see in the resolution from this window. You can see I have audio control and self timer. In audio control, you can control the capture, the clicking of the photos from your voice. We have object tracking here and this manual contrast situation level here. In this object tracking, the focus will automatically track the object that you have touched. So, if you are capturing a moving object, the phone will automatically object track the object and keep its eye on it, which is a good thing. In video mode, also we have the same kind of settings. We also have object tracking here. Like you are capturing a moving bicycle, you can just tap on that bicycle and the phone will shift it, focus on it. So here are the samples captured via this phone. You can see the good details, the dynamic range. The front camera of this smartphone is 8 megapixel, which is equally awesome. I would say more than awesome. If you are a selfie lover, then you must, then you should go with this phone, without any doubt. You can see this focus was on the nearest grass. This is a tail light photo captured with this. This is the light painting mode in which my friend has used his flashlight to draw some shapes in here and this phone has captured them. It requires a darkness around this. So that's it for the video. I hope you like this. Give a thumbs up and do subscribe if you haven't subscribed us yet. I would really appreciate that. Thumbs up thanks for watching and keep watching Tech Choice.